Meanwhile, Japan's foreign minister Yoshi Masai Hayashi on Sunday held talks with Chinese Premier Li Qiang during his visit in Beijing. Hayashi is on a two-day visit to China, becoming Japan's first diplomat to make the trip in more than three years, as friction grows between the two countries. In the meeting with Chin, Hayashi protested over a Japanese national's detention in Beijing and raised strong concerns about it at China's escalating military activity near Taiwan and around Japan. Despite close economic and business ties between the two Asian powers, Tokyo and Beijing have been increasingly at odds in recent years, as Japan considers China's growing influence in the region a threat to its security and economy. Soon after this meeting, Japan's Foreign Minister Yosh Yoshimasa Hayashi met with former Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi. China has criticized Japan over its new export controls of semiconductor manufacturing equipment that now require companies to get government permission. Hayashi is making a two-day visit in China, becoming Japan's first diplomat to do so in more than three years amid growing friction between the two countries. Meanwhile, the South Korean U.S. and Japanese navies began their first anti-submarine drills in six months on Monday to boost their coordination against increasing North Korean missile threats. The maritime exercises at international waters off South Korea's southern island of Jeju involved the nuclear-powered USS Nimitz aircraft carrier and destroyers from South Korea, the U.S., and Japan. Uh, 특히, uh, 이번 대잠전 훈련은 최근 북한의 고도화되는 SLBM 등 수중 위협에 대한 한미일의 대응 능력을 향상시키기 위해서 마련되었습니다. 이번 한미일 대잠전 훈련 시에 한미 해군이 보유 중인 수중 무인 표적을 활용해서 훈련을 실시할 예정입니다. 이를 통해서 북한 수중 위협에 대한 3자의 한미일의 탐지, 추적, 정보 공유, 경멸 능력을 향상시키